this explosion of um, I don't tell me exactly what it was. What kind of flask was it? What what kind of reaction took place? Uh, it was an oil flask. Um, so they're all covered in highly flammable liquid now. Okay, so didn't there's no fire? They're just all covered. Got it. Yeah. yeah. And um, smoking is a thing in this one, so you guys could definitely light a cigarette and then <laughs> if only, light, light a pipe. If only somebody could whisper into a pine cone, we have that pine cone and explode. I knew this was all coming together. You said, you <laughs> said it was bullshit. Yeah, Cameron <laughs> said it was bullshit. And now look. <laughs> The exact situation. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen The Hobbit? An unexpected journey. Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, like the movie or? Yeah, the movie. The uh, live action. No, I haven't seen the second one yet. I saw the first one. That is the first one. Oh. The second one is The Desolation of Smaug. Oh, Smaug. okay. Then, yes, I've seen the first one. You remember that part where Gandalf, they're getting chased by uh, orcs on Wargback, and instead of casting a, a cool spell, like magic missile or something, <laughs> Gandalf fucking takes the pine cone and whispers into it and lights it on fire? <laughs> oh, yeah. He I don't even think he throws it at them. He just, like, drops it down the no, tree. He Here does. you go, Bilbo. Oh, oh yeah, let me was... light this one on fire. Here you go. Billy, yeah, and here was, you go, Gilly, and here you go, Thorn, <laughs> and Morn. It's in general. Was, right now, pine cones out of pocket. Job. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> they're all covered in oil. So maybe somebody whispered to a pine cone, they could light it on fire. But we got to keep moving. Sorry. <laughs> um, that was Missile Face. The Crookhorns are stunned. Well, they're like dazzled, so to speak. Magic Face. Nobody. Melee phase. Nobody. All right. Declaration phase yet again. Dashing. Okay. Yeah. Hootie? Ooh. Do we know where we're... It's clear where we're going. I guess it is. Going to this room. All right. River, as you enter, you see... Um, a bunch of cobwebs, and you see a dying man on the ground, a human. It looks like his arms, one of his arms and both of his legs have been cut off. River, uh, hmm. Yeah, River doesn't care. Oh. All right. Well, after her arm is... <laughs> Ben. After your arm gets broken, you just don't care about people and care. Mortal people, they die all the time. They live like really short, shitty lives. Doesn't matter. It's okay. There's more important things going on. Okay. <laughs> that was everybody's movement? Up, up yeah. top, you guys moving? Um, no, I guess this is it. So. No, I'm good. I have a... Um... I have a tinderbox. Well, I, oh, yeah, I guess I should have done that during uh, declaration. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be range because we're throwing the yeah, fire down. Do missile, yeah. I, I swear you guys are on like your last movement of fly. In case you want to fly. Just in case. Well, I mean, I don't want to... A tinderbox is just... That's a, another word for a matchbox, right? Yeah. Okay, so oh, like, is I, it? I don't want to throw a match necessarily. I just want to like drop it, right? So, it, like, I think a tinderbox is, like, flint, something to strike it against, and then some kind of, like, flammable yeah, so it's, 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 like it's, wood it's, shavings. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's not as convenient as a match. Uh-huh. It would take, I think, a, a, a turn or so to light it or something. But roll a survival, Cookie Bus. Well, 
Well, he rolled a natty six, so that means he does find a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work if it fucking kills me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we so, go. You can move your movement. Use your movement speed, uh, movement phase to light it on. Yeah, I turned into uh, this form real quick and grabbed one of the pine cones from my base. And then... It's so brilliant. And then I whisper into it. Ooh, what'd he say? Oh, that's for me and the pine cone to know. But it blushes. <laughs> <laughs> it blushes yeah, it's... so badly it lights on fire. It has those little <laughs> anime flesh marks those strokes <laughs> yeah. pine cone. oh Please. my lord Sex it's like um on fire. demon school the the one-eyed girl oh my oh my like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway uh missile f- everybody moved so missile phase um i guess i'll still try to shoot the uh Green guy, I guess. Okay. His revenge. Uh, Cookie Puss, I do need you to roll a dex. Uh, it's not a huge AC. I just need to make sure you don't roll a one. 13. Uh, let me... Cookie Puss, that's a, a pack. 19 altogether. Uh, yeah, that's a hit, Cal- uh, Callie Mae. Yay. You guys both... Do what you want to do. So, Callie may roll your damage. Cookie Bliss roll uh, 2d6. So, that's what, 3? All right, you have plus 1, plus... Oh, bye. Do I add um, my dex? Yeah, you add your dex and you add uh, attack. Uh, then that's 12. Okay, and then Callie Mae, you have... Three. <laughs> okay. That is enough to kill all four of the Crookhorns. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Cookie Puss uh, pretends like he planned to do that, and he takes a sip of his tea, and he goes, all in a day's work. <laughs> um, Callie Mae, roll 2d6. <clears throat> okay. Cookie Puss, roll 2d6. Callie Mae, you think Cookie Puss is pretty cool. (laughs) This is just a normal day's work for him. What would it be like if he got serious? Yeah, he's a cool cat. Indeed. (laughs) All right, um... So that was missile phase, magic phase. You guys don't have magic or melee, right? So we can just skip to next. Yeah. I'm going to conclude combat for this because I think you guys are... It's like in a stealth game where, like, if the cockatrice gets free, he's going to be, like, searching Mm -hmm. for you guys. You know what I mean? Okay. So we should all get inside this room and close the door. The people yes. up top doesn't. The people up top don't really know what's going on with us. And you guys don't know what's going on with them. Crump, Father Crump, come quickly! But, yeah, you can move now, Crump. We're not in. Um, oh, cool, cool, cool. Hoot bra, you, if Oof. you want, you can move. But I know you you like to live that nomadic lifestyle. Get in here and shut the door no, behind I'm you. Going. No. Oop, bruh. You might want to get in, brother, before I close the door on you. Who brought you going the wrong way? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bra. Oh. Hoop, bruh. By the gods. Hoop, bruh. 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 Oh my gosh. Father, <laughs> come, come quickly. There's a person here, injured. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, my son. Please, please. Him. I'm sorry to see you in such a horrid state. Please. What are you saying? 
How can I aid your passing? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he is dying, but he is not dead yet. You think you could, I mean, with a potion of obviously healing, but with the very, um, if you dedicated yourself to just treating his wounds, you could treat him while the others go do their stuff. Well, okay, okay. So while they're searching for some kind of hidden door or something, uh, I can that's good. Ah. Ah, Father Crump, is he too far gone? I could end it quickly if need be. No, no. Uh, well, first, let me gauge the morality of this creature. The last uh, thing you see before you stop um, looking at the candle is it's right behind this wall. Huh. It appears we must be walking in this direction. Uh, maybe you guys should investigate... Uh, I don't know what all that, if you could get through that webbing or whatever that is. Crump, perhaps you should snuff that candle before it completely runs out. It's very useful. Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, I think we know where we need to go. Uh, we need to yes. go this direction. Please, you guys investigate something this wall. There has to be some way to get through to the other side. Um, I'm going to put the candle out before... Uh, yeah, before we run out of wax, this holy wax. Right, you and aid that person, and I'll start chopping at this webbing with my new halberd here. Okay, uh, you can just roll damage. Okay. Can I? I oh, okay, never mind. It's a one. I think it's a D8. It's a D10 for this one, oh, right, the halberd? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's gonna keep on chopping. Hoot bra and river just watch. No, I was just checking the damage on my dagger. So I'm not using my spear anymore. I rolled a three. Hoot bra is just watching. Um Good bravo. Sing a song for me while I do this. It'll motivate roll me more. I can do guy. that. Roll a two. I can sing a song for you guys. Maybe that'll help. Good bravo. Get one of the daggers I bought you. Didn't I buy you daggers or something? Help us cut this. Sing that song, uh, Rathgar the Red or whatever from Skyrim. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. <laughs> <laughs> something, 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 old Rorik's dead. All right, you guys, after a couple of minutes of just hacking this thing, you get through, and uh, your weapons, hang on, your guys' weapons are in dire need of cleaning, so until you get them cleaned, you guys are going to get a negative one to your damage. That's fine. I have, like, five other daggers. Yeah, I, so got, okay. I got other weapons. Um... Crump takes out some spirit tame. Uh, and do I have to roll to try to like to see if it's effective at curing this this bloke? That flesh on side, that guy. That's a um. <laughs> that's a, a pipe leaf. Oh. Spirit tame is a is a, I thought it's a fun I thought it was a fun guy. Okay, I just needed to check which which table. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a common fun guy in herb. Um, yeah, it'll work. So it cures one d two hit points. So we'll just say that it's going to take your entire time. Okay. Crushing it and applying it. All right. Uh, Hootbra, you watch as Shadwell and River Under Stars enter the hidden room. River, would you're like still to... singing your song, so you're not gonna. You can't sing and walk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dependent on your intelligence score. I mean, you can it's move. Pretty, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just You can go. Hey, it's I like... was in. Hoopra was in marching in the Wizard School marching band, so he can. He okay, can... Then why is he? <laughs> 
can block. You can move. You have my permission. You can move. River would like to detect magic on this. Pool. You don't even need to. It you can you can taste the magic. You it, well. River would like to detect specifically what kind of magic is going on. Okay. Here. So I I think in the I have a detect magic of five, but for the roll in the rule book it says you have to roll it. So I don't know what the outcome is. Well, I mean, it'll show, right? That shows my GM rolls. Yeah, okay. Shit. <laughs> Here, I, I guess have, so. I have, I have real dice. Unless right. you want to roll, yeah, physical dice. Man, these dice are so old. My pink and black ones. Okay, I got it. Okay. Well, it just looks like a regular pool to me. So we have to No, move. it doesn't. Grab it out. You are um, oh. having a flashback to uh, something in your origin story. And Shad Shadwell and Hootbra, you guys see, it's just like you're watching the show <clears throat> Wednesday. Uh, River's going to throw her head back and like look up at the ceiling. Oh, she's having a vision. Oh, my goodness. River. I know what has to happen at this pool. What must happen? Shadwell. Take yes. one of my daggers. Cut your palm. Spill blood on this pool. It will open. Ah. Very well. He'll accept one of River's clean daggers. <laughs> I have several. They're not all <laughs> gooped up. Yeah. And the gooped up one gets a negative one. So he's going <laughs> to take off one of his gloves, scour his palm, and then squeeze it over the pool. Just as you do that, like the moment your blood touches the water, it stops glowing. I can't do it right here because it'd take too long. But we'll say that the, the water stops glowing. And previously it was really chilly in here, but now it's. Warm. River will step into the pool. Okay. And pick up the chalice. All right. You pick it up just fine. It, now it feels like just regular old water. River, what was that all about with the eyes rolling back into your head and seizuring? Now is not the time. We need to get out of here first. I'll explain everything when we get back to town. Fair enough. All right, Hoopra. Let's check on Father Crump. Okay. All right. We found what we came here for. Father, just as you guys round the corner, Father Crump has finished administering the healing fungi fungi to this wounded human you guys look at his clothes and you see he he wears bardic like attire could this be one of the adventurers that chimes loomer had hired before you don't know is the bard conscious or unconscious he's very very weak but he is, we'll say, a, a little bit of both. Okay. Shadwell's going to scoop him up if he can. Yep. Try to carry okay. him. Okay. Thank you, Shadwell. How, I need to know this just, just in case. How exactly is Shadwell carrying him? Uh, like he's a baby. So both arms? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Okay. So not like the piggyback? No. Okay. Got it. Well, I think for piggyback, you would have to have both arms too, right? I mean, I think you can like lean forward. So like their weight is like on your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. So you guys uh, take this wounded bard. And um, you have the chalice. So what are you guys going to do now? We need to get out of here. I don't think we can ascend the rope. 
the cocoa trice is <clears throat> still there, and by the time we get back, the webs will have uh, dissipated. We need to find another way out. Let's hope that Callie Mae um, and Cookie Puss dealt with the crocorns topside. Unless there's something else we can use to distract them. Well, there has to be another exit out of here. <clears throat> yes. I believe I did tell you, uh, everyone about the stairs, too, when I did the initial yeah, reconnaissance. Did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hoodbra, you didn't notice it when you walked in, but there's another door in this room. Uh, whoa. Uh, I may be tripping out, but uh, you guys seeing this other door? Oh, I see it. Oh. Guys, dudes. It's yeah. like over here. Hoopra. All right, let's go. Follow Hoopra. Yeah, you see the uh, way. He's away, brother Hoopra. Child of God. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, truly doing the Lord's work right now. Truly. I think I think at this point a true servant. Are we are we all dashing out of here? Yeah. And just as you guys exit, you oh, see yes. the cockatrice. Oh, no. He, he revs up one of his petrification. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did we forget? Holy How Lord. Forget? How did we you forget? You guys gonna keep fighting him, or what are you going to do? Uh, so Shadwell lets out one of those goat screams and then starts fucking running. Which way? Towards the stairs. Okay. Me too. Follow Shadwell. Yes. Oh my god! Just oh my as god. Brother Crump gets in, re- like oh. in the blocking range of the the wall, the you feel like the blast of magical energy just right behind you. Oh, Jesus! Whoever that is, uh, <laughs> some kind of holy <laughs> son. It's a really nice <laughs> Good <name> man. <laughs> a, a fellow friar. Whew, yeah, fellow that was friend. close. You guys on, on the top, Cookie Post and Calumet, you do see your compatriots running, uh, ascending the staircase. They look, they appear to be lost. Yeah, Shadwell's all disoriented from hauling ass away from that cockatrice. Are we in all trying initiative? to like hold on to the bard? You're not in initiative. Okay. You guys got out of the way of the cockatrice. I mean, if you guys are going to linger for too long, he's going to appear. But No, we're going to fuck off. We should try All to right. find the others. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be like, hey, over here. Are you okay? Who said that? <laughs> are you okay? Hello, over here. I'm hearing voices. Oh, shit. Hello there. Cookie Help. puss. Did you get the paintings? Yes. Over there by the hole. All right. We need to Where head back they? to Drag. We need to run. Callie Mae is muted. Hello. <laughs> uh, there you go. Since there's no immediate danger, I we can just... Um, fast travel? Yeah, we can fast travel, but I want everybody to tell me what happened, how you guys did it. How long it took? What you guys did? Uh, we left the cart back at town, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. we. But, yeah. but 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 I have but I have um I don't know actually I don't know if I can do this I have a spell my spell floating disc can carry heavy things. How many how many turns does that last? Uh, as long as I. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Is it not two <laughs> or three? No. No, it actually is six turns. Oh, six turns. Well, a whole, a whole you, 36 seconds. Well, uh, I'm guard. Go ahead. Yeah, and fortunately for you, it's only a six hour trip. <laughs> well, I guess. Um, um, you can make a travel. It's just like you take some branches and some rope and tie it in a triangle shape. So you can kind of make some netting and then it'll take a little bit of time, unfortunately, though. For the, yeah, the for the first thirty six seconds, we carry it with uh, Hoopa's floating disc, <laughs> and then we're like, "Well, that oh, okay, <laughs> it just like crashes and burns." 
<laughs> and we're like, okay, plan B. <laughs> what are we carrying? Sorry. Yeah. So we're carrying a person and paintings. Did Did any of you guys tell Callie May the state of the paintings? Oh no. No. Aren't they like in good condition? Mint ish. <laughs> they got. What do you they mean? Got pulled up. Go on. Yeah, but we we uh, put them in boards first. So they should be. Yeah, fine. so they're all bundled up. In the frames. Um, in the frames? Okay. Well, why don't we carry a, fr a picture each and then as for the man, I guess we'll have to... I think we're going to have to take some time to make that Travar, at least for him, so that Shadow doesn't have to carry him for six hours. Well, how, how, how many paintings do we have? Six. Six paintings. How many coins are they? Um, they're anywhere from like 50 to 150. Could Kelly okay. may make like a little sled out of sticks, like in the forest or something? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like was, a triangle it, thing. We all lash it to the thing. Then we only, it's like yeah. pulling somebody back on the shield. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the paintings aren't that heavy. Like, I mean. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it would only be for the guy. Let's make, let's make sure we grab our grappling hook, both our ropes. We'll arrange some kind of thing. And River um, will help pull however many paintings back to town. Quick question: Should we look around for a cart here? Because they got some, like they had to bring the supplies somehow. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, and they got lots of supplies right here. Cookie Plus wants to remind you that although he did spectacularly, he didn't kill everybody. Yeah. Not true. Oh yeah, right. We still have some people we have to. I don't think we should linger. Yes, we'll have to come back to exterminate the rest. Well, I mean, how long could it take? <laughs> Everybody grab a painting. If there's, if the paintings are too heavy, stack two on each other, and Shadwell and I can carry them back to town like a litter uh, between the two of us. Like one person holding behind, one person holding in front, and we run back to town. Uh, y'all. I so, also see that there is a uh, tent kind of thing with sticks over there. Hold on, I, Cookie Fist has an idea. Um, so reading about my shapeshifting, <laughs> uh -huh. it says under equipment, all gear carried is optionally transformed with the character, reappearing when they return to humanoid form. So what if I picked up the paintings and transformed into a cat and then someone just carried me? Um, if you can pass a strength check to carry all of them, I'll allow it. All right. You gotta give that's a good one. Oh. Yeah, roll a d20. If you beat a 14, that's a 10. I did not. Okay. Can I take like half of them though? Sure. Yeah, you can take three. Okay, three paintings. Between, between how many of us? There's like 31, 32 at this point. Yeah. I feel like we could each take a painting and carry them back to town, even if we has, even if we have to rest along the way. Is anybody in terribly dire straits aside from me, as far as like, <coughs> reduced HP? <coughs> yeah, Callie may took an axe right. to the chest. Okay, yeah, River was underground. She didn't know what was going on. Callie may doesn't. Uh... Well, hey, you know what? Um, <laughs> let's. Let's do this. I'm going to switch boards. Give me one sec. And then let me add you guys here. Yeah, how far can we get if we're just fucking off from this place? You're not going to make it in time. You guys are going to have to camp. Yeah. There. Oh, shit. Oh no! Okay, for me. No. Why not? Wasn't wasn't this our last day? Before. To rescue Snurd. 
Or was that tomorrow? That was tomorrow night. Oh, okay. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. We yeah, but, the bar that's show. Why... but isn't the bar show tonight? No, we've never booked anything, Hoot Bra. You're smoking too much pipe weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this we is never booked anything. Technically, right, <laughs> they have weird names in Dolanwood, but this is Saturday. You guys have to by Sunday night get the payment for snurd, snurd snood. Kali also wants to take some of the wolves, so Kali would like to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get back to the wolves, huh? Like in that map, there's a little half tent with like wood and cloth over it. Just kind of take that and make a little card out of it, you know, a Javar and a bowl. So then we could make camp close by where the, the wolf corpses were? We yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting on the map transfer. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this yeah. keeps showing dragon for me, so I'm going to get rid of the. There we go. Could stop. <laughs> Shadwell is on attack. <laughs> All right, if you guys want to take advantage of camaraderie right now, that's we could do that. Can I just ask for context? So, like, did we leave Druminol and did we like collect the wolves and this is our camp for yep. the night before we head back to Dreg? Yeah. I mean, if that's what everyone wants, yes. I'm giving you guys the opportunity yeah. to, to, to do the camaraderie, potentially get HP back. No, yeah, perfect. But if you want to just go straight to drag, we can do that. I'm down for camping. At yeah. The moment, myself. Yeah. yeah, camping is guys cool. Okay, I'm not going uh, to um, do anything more. You guys are going to have to tell me what you do and how you guys camp out. Look at my morph. <laughs> little honey badger on the side. So cute. Um, well, Shadwell's going to check on the bard periodically. See if he ever wakes up. Uh, Kelly's going to start crafting the pine cone armor. Okay. The bard is a bit feverish, but he... Brother Crump assures you he'll pull through. River yes. will open both of her bottles of wine and began passing them <laughs> between everybody. Oh. And that, that's it? Uh, uh, for, for now. For now. Uh, Here you go, my friends. Yeah. In, in, sorry, go ahead. I wasn't sure that we were going to make it out of, well, whatever we got ourselves into. It was a very thrilling adventure. That cockatrice was... Something else. The Lord be praised. The power of friendship and the Lord's light allowed us to follow through. <laughs> let us sing. Let us praise his name and drink. Amen, Father Crump. Amen. Amen. Father Crump, yes. I think God needs some of your aid. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All you yes, need is a good yes, night's sleep, Jelly May. Can can River roll a survival check to see if she recognizes any like edible plants? Yeah. Or fungi, mushrooms, yep. berries, or some shit? Um, I don't think you have survival, right? So it's just a straight six. Straight six. Here we go. Flew off the map. All right. Yeah, that's a that six. Is, that's a six. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Yes, you do find something. Rivers find some berries, and you find some and... mushrooms. That if um, you know you guys are making a stew, you can put the mushrooms in the stew. I think Ooh. these should all be edible for you all. And River will also offer up two preserved rations for anybody who wants them. Uh, do y'all want me to make some stew with some yes. of those rations and mushrooms and yes. switch it out? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. All right, then Kali will first make some stew, work on our, uh, the pine bark armor in between while stirring, and that's, and yeah. Do Don't you have some uh, processed animals? Oh, we got some meat. Oh, we yeah, the wolves. A... Do we, we have those now? 
Yeah, but we got meat from something else too earlier. Um, I, th I think that was people. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I think we had like, what did we have? We had Rabbit? duck meat? No, no duck it was meat. like fish. Oh, no. my goodness. Thank we, God. No, no, we I... killed the ducks. I thought the killer ducks. I thought that's no. why you brought the person back from the dungeon, is you were going to eat him or something. Of course not. Uh, maybe, maybe Ray's story yeah. about his friends saying all that bonkers shit was really him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was bunny rabbits when you guys were making the potions. There we go. I must say, though, River, you have impressed me with your valor. Well, I... I I feel as though there's something I must tell you all about who I am and where I'm from. Oh. Well, I have some pipe leaf if you want to make that story easier, dude. Uh, <laughs> do that. Uh, certainly. Why not? Why not? River yeah, gets out yeah. of pipe. Uh, whatever. What, what's the pipe weed you have? Is it shaggy I have shaggy. Pony? Shaggy Pony, and it makes you sleep good. And you need that. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. That would be good. Okay. So River lights your pipe, takes a couple drags, and... And the like, reason well, it's called Shaggy Pony is because it has an almost horse hay kind of smell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and tastes like baked potato. Baked tomato. Oh, so that's is River awesome. going to... Puff, puff, pass. If, if anybody wants, I have some, some pipe weed as well. But please listen. River will pass off whichever pipe was lit, and hand it to her companions. <coughs> I don't usually partake, but tonight I will happily make an exception. Well, you see. I am from Fairy, but you must understand, I, I was born to a minor noble house, and we lived in peace, and we didn't really get involved with politics all that much, but when I was very young, my brother ran off, took my father's longsword, and went off to become a great knight. And then, many years later, when I was nearing my first century, uh, I returned to my family estate, and I found it set ablaze. And I found the banner of the cold prince. And I found my father's longsword in pieces. So... I have lived in exile, in secret, for 400 years, living in Fairy under the protection of Mr. Tibbs, and, well, several days ago I must have wandered into the mortal realm on accident, and I, I, I thought it was a dream, and I still can't use my right hand, and I, I think that shows that this isn't a dream and it's real and that I don't have the protection of anyone else. It's just all of you. I, I thought we might very well have died in that pit today, but we all made it out alive for now. Thanks for sharing. And yes. are you are you gonna get revenge? I I think I spent seventy years mourning what I presume to be the death of my family. But I don't I don't think I'm going to be mourning any longer. If I don't have the protection of Mr. Tibbs or any friends, 
from fairy, I'm truly on my own. I, I think I have to take revenge on the cold prince. And I don't, I don't really know if I care who stands in my way. Well, don't look like you're uh, alone right now, does it? I suppose not. Mm. Thank you. And River will raise one of the wine bottles. And I don't know if anybody else has cups or a wine bottle amongst them. But yeah, a little cheers. Uh, Pally holds up his water skin. (laughs) Amen, Sister River. (laughs) Here, 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 here. Yep. <clears throat> All right, that was great. Um, so if, uh, each of you should have either a bed or a tent. Um, it doesn't look like it, but Crump, there are these orange leaves over here. This is your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Cozy. <laughs> I I don't think River has a bedroll or a tent or whatever, but. I don't know. I know I mentioned in like in 5e and regular D&D elves don't necessarily like sleep sleep. They go into like a trance. Yeah, I I looked. I didn't see anything like that in Dolman Woods, so I'm guessing you guys still have to sleep. Yeah. So River will Can I do a survival check to see if I find any oak leaves? Just gonna make sure, we can just use leaves. this little hay-looking one as a makeshift one for now. Yeah. This one right next to you. All right. Um, anybody else? Okay, that one's Shadwell's. Uh, so, Cap- like... Yes. Um, so, like, if we have a bedroll in our inventory, it is assumed that, like, this that we're nearby is uh it is unfolded, yep. right? Okay. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna request that Hootbra play us a lullaby. Oh, I got moved. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a uh, you guys you guys haven't heard this yet, but there's a really cool new uh sound coming around. Uh it's called Trappistry. And it's um it's a cool new sound that's on, in the West Hollywood where I'm from, but I'll, I'll play you some of that. Trappistry. What does that sound like? <laughs> uh, it's got a got a medieval uh, medieval tune to it. It's kind of medieval chill. Or baroque. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's a broke more so, but got some new 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 flavors in it. Uh I think you guys will like it. Um, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um so you guys will get to sleep. Um is anyone keeping watch or are you guys just all gonna sleep because you're exhausted or what what's going down? Um, um, I guess we could keep watching shifts. Mm. River, River will offer to keep watch. She's paranoid. It's hard to sleep. She's not in fairy anymore. Uh, Kali will offer to stay up with River, uh, if he wants company while he continues to craft the armor. Now you have to rest if you want to get your HP back. Oh, I forgot. Yes, you are right. Never mind. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I'll still rest if I stay up for like shift, right? Uh, among everyone else, you and River, I believe you and River need it most. Oh, damn. Well, I, <laughs> I have three of three and a minus one from my injury. Yeah, so if you want to get your HP back and get rid of that injury, you will have to rest the whole night. And Cookie Puss, you'll have to rest the whole night as well. Uh, Crump can take the first watch. Okay. Wait, I don't why, know yet. why do I have to rest? I didn't get injured. Um, at session one, didn't you have a near-death experience? 
Oh, yeah, but I've, like, healed since then. I know, yeah, but if we, you want to get your max HP back, you have to rest. I, I thought we had uh, the St. Cloisters feast. We had, like, that night in the bar. Oh, did he? Did you get it back then? Um, I thought... I wasn't we sure were, if I... When you told me that I... Like, because I used to have, in session one, four max H, HP, but then you told me at some yeah, point... Yeah, now you have three. Yeah, so now it's three. I am at three, so... Yeah, so if you want to get the four back... Go back to four max HP. Okay, yeah, that's max that was my HP question. Four, you have yeah, to I'm, yeah, I'm okay. sleeping on the uh, unconscious bard's forehead, yeah. as cats do. Cats do, exactly. <laughs> my bad. I, my, I, cat, my cat sleeps right on my throat. I thought I thought we had a like a, a party day at the Mermaid's Tail. Uh, yeah, that St. rule only, only works for camping. Oh, it's like okay. the way I, I see it in my mind, because this is my house rule. The way I see it in my mind is like you guys are using Dolman wood and like, you know, harvesting stuff from it. You're telling stories, you're drinking, you're smoking. Mm. Dolman wood likes that. So it's okay. going to give back to you guys. Yeah. Okay. So just for future reference, because that's a little bit of what I was trying to do with like popping the two wines. And I, having I the totally smoke and posting it, passing it around. So I would, I cannot watch. I would Correct. have to go to sleep. Okay. But then you've done the necessary go. setup. Like just saying we're going to camp good, doesn't good, give you good, guys good, good, the, the yes. bonuses. You guys have to actually partake in camaraderie. Cool. Cool. All right, Crump. Uh, as your shift go, nothing happens in the night. You mm -hmm. and... Anybody else who's awake, you guys just, I don't know, do whatever you do. Oh, um, quick question. Yeah. Um, do I still, have, uh, you said I have to roll for the crafting? Is that afterwards? Uh, are you going to craft or are you going to rest? Because you, you have to do one or the other. Oh, no, I was crafting uh, when we were camping and then, like, because you used to ask us what we were doing while we were, like, talking. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, roll a D100 for me. So that's the the ten and then the double zero. If you roll them at the same time, it'll yep. Yeah, you get you get um pretty far into it. You get about seventy four percent of the way done. Yeah, nice. It's not quite finished, but yeah, you get you have some pretty great progress. Or it was a very progress. good story that River told. So. <laughs> <laughs> and with that uh, the day the night goes without any wandering monsters nothing is amiss and uh, you guys will start the next day at either remember it's one or the other you either get your max HP back and um, the critical injury goes away or you replenish your HP I'm replenishing my HP Okay, so you'll replenish. Chad replenishes HP. Uh, I'm gonna heal injury. Okay, and yeah, your max HP goes up. Uh, rest HP. <laughs> so you, yeah, you're back at full HP. Cookie Puss, you are back at four max HP, and then it was just Hoot Bra and Crump who stayed awake all night, right? Did I have to play the whole night? I was wondering. Well, no, you didn't have to play the whole night, but if you were just up, like, keeping watch, keeping Crump company, that's enough. Yeah, I guess I was keeping him crumpany. All right. Crumpany. Um, <laughs> crumpany. <laughs> All right, so with, it, with that in mind, Crump and uh, Hootbra, uh, you guys will get bonus XP for this session. Cool. Everybody else, you guys get 300 XP. Ooh. Crump and uh, Hootbra, you guys get 400 XP. God dang. God damn. Dang. God damn. 300. Hey, pass me some of that pipe weed. Oh, bro. <laughs> Well yes, done, sir. everybody. Um, so 
one thing now that everyone's here I, I wanted to say I will not be in town next Monday so we'll just have to postpone the, the session until the 15th Aww. I hope you have fun wherever yeah, you are. Yeah, safe, it's, yeah, safe it's travels. Mindy's, it's going to be Mindy's birthday, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Fun. Where are you guys going? If you don't... We're going to go to um, Dan Green's Airbnb in New Jersey. Oh, sick. The, the like, beach. What is it? Yeah, like, beach yeah. house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Surf City or whatever the hell it's going. Yeah, the New Jersey... It's not the Jersey Shore, right? What is it? Right by it, yeah. Okay, cool. Is that a awesome. celebrity? What? Yeah, who's Dan Green? It's, it's like a celebrity. <laughs> An oh, old no, co-worker. Uh, uh. Old for, cr for Crash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, previous, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, just out of curiosity, what's everybody's XP at? Just roughly. Right now, we got... The 300 plus the the percentage always confuses me because I always forget every week. Yeah, I think you have five percent. Yeah, it's in, it's for each of you. Yeah, you have ten percent cookie puss. So you would have three thirty. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure if anybody was near seventeen seventeen fifty. That's for level no. two, right? No, no. Yeah. I'm at nine seventy five. Okay, I'm just making 920. sure. Nine <laughs> twenty. That's fine. Yeah. That's that's what I wanted. I just I want to make sure you guys aren't leveling up too fast. I'm trying to do it every like once once a month. So every four sessions, I want you guys to level up. Mm. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm uh nine nineteen. Nine nineteen. Okay, and you're a enchanter. Yeah, that's. That's what I was wondering is like, how, how does the game work for somebody who rolls a character that's shitty? <laughs> <laughs> like if you, if you rolled nines across the board somehow, is your character just wasted and you should just re-roll until you get a good hand? Um, that's really up to you and your DM. Like for me personally, as a player, yeah. I think I would love a player like that, a character like that. <clears throat> but that's just because I like games like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, be an average Joe. Yeah, yeah, because it it like Dolman Wood is very different from like Five E, where it's like there's a clear path to improving skills and there's like a yeah well that's why i'm that's putting i'm personally putting the way I've, I've interpreted the rules is i'm putting more emphasis on the items and the gear and stuff because i think mm -hmm. that's how you guys will mm -hmm. that's the facsimile for skill advancement yeah and i i haven't read anything into like the the dm's guide because i don't want to like spoil too much mm -hmm. for myself so, like, I've been keeping out, but I'm sure that's something they cover in, like, okay, like, how to progress and all these kinds of things. But, dude, I'm I'm having a blast. Thank you so I'm, much. I'm for having a blast. Days. Thank you. Thank you for yes. being here, man. Both of you. Everybody, actually. Yeah, Karen, I'm glad you made it. I know it's a holiday, so <laughs> thank you even more. I just pushed all the kids into traffic so I could get back faster. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, yes. has, Cameron approves. <laughs> yeah, it's been really fun, you guys. Like the creativity and the stories, it's so awesome to hear. Likewise. I didn't think you guys were going to make it out of that dungeon. I didn't either. That was, oh my gosh. Dude, I was, I spent the whole week <laughs> worrying, like, oh, did I fuck everybody over by like. <laughs> Everybody, let's tie the fucking grappling hook under the tree and jump down into the big old stinking pit of death. <laughs> like, oh, what have I done? Uh, honestly, that fight uh, <laughs> that uh, Count Cookie Puss and uh, Callie Mae had uh, on the surface was pretty insane. Like, that that was uh, Michael Bay wishes he could <laughs> come up with something. So yeah. that, was the, that was on the rails. We, that could have gone so badly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what you guys don't know is I was, I was DMing Ben the whole time. Flee! Get the fuck out of there! 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, take the paintings and run. DMs like, get, just get out, just run, stop. Because I mean, once I got there, it's just uh, I do all my rolls in the open, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I was already making my next character, so I was like, we're not gonna get him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was bummed about. Yeah, I, was, I was like, I kept thinking about how long it was going to take to do Hero for What was it? Hero Forge? Forge. I was like, oh, yeah. I spent time on this character. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've already gotten attached. I gave it a name. <laughs> Seriously. Right. But yeah, no, you guys are doing really well. I'll have to keep the hard areas dangerous. The dangerous areas hard and the RP areas funny and silly. And... But yeah. Well done, everyone. I, I think we got a good sense of like shit that's going down. And this DM that you sent me should is that that's a permanent increase? Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. So Here's, what you guys don't know is because River rolled so well, well during that that standoff with the cockatrice showing strength, I uh, gave her a boost to strength just because I think. Like, I never liked feats and leveling up for no reason, like paying the level up. So because she mm -hmm. did so well, I'm like, yeah, you know what? River is pretty strong, so River should be strong. Yeah. I still don't, I still don't get a modifier, but it's so cool. <laughs> and then... Um, I can't believe that I rolled so well on those with, like... Yeah, that was wild. Holding that fucking well door. Done. Well done, everybody. But yeah, um, good night and uh, have a happy Fourth of July, everyone. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, happy Fourth of July, guys. Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> oh, Americans! <laughs> no, Canada. <I can't> <laughs>